Hey guys, welcome back to Chill Lives Only Symbio Wellness. My name is Allie, and today we are going to be talking about lube. So the different types of lube, what type of lube might work best for you, why you might want to use lube, and answer any questions around lube. I know that a lot of people get confused because there are some different options out there like silicone lube, um, water-based lube, uh, natural lubes. So I'm going to do my best today to answer your questions around lube and then also provide you with some options if you are looking to purchase lube for your sexual experiences. One of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to penetrative sex, uh, especially with vulva owners, is that if a vulva owner isn't wet, that means they're not aroused, which is not true at all. Your wetness level does not depend necessarily on arousal. There are so many things that can affect it, such as where you are at in your cycle, um, the time of the month, pre or post menopausal women. It's not the sexual experience. Lots of times too, vulva owners can be super turned on uh, and not have any wetness. So that's the first myth that you kind of just want to throw out the window and that's where lube can come in handy because it can make your sexual experience so much better because it can help you with enhancing wetness if you aren't someone who experiences a lot of wetness during a sexual experience. Also, using lube can help with reducing um, the risk of tears and pain during sex and just make it more pleasurable for everybody involved. So definitely, definitely, definitely use lube if you want to and think of it as a way to make your experience better. Just like if you have the option to fly coach versus first class, you know, the plane's going to get you to the same spot, but you might be more comfortable and have a better experience uh, if you use a tool that gives you more options and more wetness. So when it comes to lube, you have some options. The first would be a uh, silicon lubricant. Uh, silicon lube is great because it lasts a long time, it's really wet, but it can damage toys and condoms, specifically silicon toys, like over time it can damage them. So if you are using a toy uh, or a condom, you might want to lean more towards a water-based lube. Water-based lubes are also a little bit more safe for sensitive uh, skin. So if you are someone who has reactions to different types of things, a water-based lube might be best for you. If you do have very sensitive parts, you might want to consider using a more natural lube. Um, I know some people ask about coconut oil. You can definitely use coconut oil, but you'd want to make sure um, it's made with high quality ingredients, that it has a really fresh shelf life, so it's not something that's been sitting in your cupboard for years on end. Um, and of course, always talk to a doctor or your gynecologist just about that before you go using it to make sure it's going to work with you. A lot of times lubes can affect our pH levels, so you want to look for a lube that's not going to affect your pH levels. And there are certain chemicals that you also want to avoid. So you want to watch out for any chemicals that are going to cause irritation. I have a list of them here that I just kind of keep on my phone to check when I'm buying new products. So I'll put them all listed here because I can't always pronounce them all, but you want to make sure it doesn't have any petrochemicals, glycerin, alcohol, and of course, look for a lube that's not gonna affect your pH levels. I recently chatted with the owner of Couples Co, which is a sex and wellness site. They sell vibrators and different sex toys and lubes on their site, um, and they provided me with a bunch of different options for lubes, uh, depending on if you're looking for silicone or water-based. All of their lubes, though, are natural-based lubes, and they don't have any of those chemicals that I just listed. I have never tried any of the lubes, so I can't recommend them, but they were very helpful uh, in providing some information. So I'm going to link the lubes that they sell and the different options that they highlighted. There's about three lubes that you can take a look at. Like I said, though, I've never tried them, so I cannot vouch for them personally. Um, also, the links that I'm providing below are not affiliate links. I don't get any uh, kickback or anything for talking about this. I'm just helping uh, provide you with some options because they were super helpful and helping me understand about different lubes and the different types of lubes that they carry and the different ingredients in them. Um, so if you are looking to purchase a lube, you might find one that's helpful for you on their site. So I'll include that in the description box below. But yeah, overall, I just want to encourage you to do your research to make sure that you are picking a lube that's going to be best for you. So for example, if you're someone who uses toys a lot in the bedroom, a water-based lube is something you're going to want to look into. Always be aware, make sure you're picking a lube that says that it will not affect your pH levels. Uh, if you're looking for a longer lasting lube and you're not using condoms or toys, you might want to do a silicone-based lube. 
Uh, if you're sensitive, you might want to consider a natural product like coconut oil, but of course, talk with your dermatologist about that. But above all, just remember that lube is your friend. It's there to help you. It's there to help reduce tears, pain, make sex much more enjoyable and pleasurable. Uh, and it's something that you should use to help you and to make it a better experience and have no shame or fear uh, in testing it out. So I hope you found this video today helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps our channel. If you know anyone who might find this video helpful, share it with them as well. It really means so much. Uh, as always, if you have questions, feel free to follow us at CBO Wellness on Instagram. I always try to answer my DMs there. Um, or if you want to leave a comment down below, I'll answer your questions there as well. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and we'll see you for another video soon.